I've sort of been a reluctant singer, a reluctant front man. I like, love music, I love being involved with music. I like to make music with other people and whatnot. Um, and uh, the, the Roots, um, <laughs> uh, the Roots manager, Rich, Rich Nichols, um, he was a really, really brilliant, brilliant man and a, and a big influence on me as a person and, and also as a musician. Rich, I would say, he was a guy who like, uh, he would just kick me in, he would like kick me into stuff. Mm-hmm. Like I would show up and he'd say, hey man, you know, we're having this jam session in the studio, man. I'm like, uh, oh, cool. He's like, yeah, you should come down. So, uh, all right. Went down. These guys were playing. I saw like, like Vernon Reed, the guitar player from uh, Living Color, an amazing guitar player. They played Eric Krasno from Soul Live was in there. Just and I was sitting in a room with those two guys. It was just us two for for a while. And I sat down. I had a guitar, so I walked. <laughs> I walked in the room and I saw those two guys, and I was like. <laughs> I was trying to get out of the room, and somebody came in there after me. Said, "Nobody, where are you going?" I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm just. I was dropping. Because you're stuck now." So actually, what I did is, I got on the drums instead, <laughs> which makes a lot of sense, right? You know the roots, because it's not like they have a yeah, drummer. Yeah, no, no, no. You know, you see how smart I am. So I, <laughs> oh, I'll get on the drums because I couldn't play guitar in front of those guys. So I played drums. And no one was paying attention until I started to play the drums. <laughs> and, then, and then these guys were playing. You know, it, was, it sounded good. It sounded okay. I was just doing that, you know. <laughs> keeping the beat. I can keep the beat. Not good, but I can keep the beat. <laughs> and once I started playing the drums, people started looking in the window. <laughs> Who's playing a drum in there? <laughs> like, that, that dude, oh my God, this is crazy. So, he put me in that situation. I was a little embarrassed. I, and I walked out, I was like, man, I, I might have to just go home. I don't know if I can do this. And I heard this sound coming from the room a little while later that just said something to me. And then I walked back in the room and I looked around and there was, the only thing that wasn't happening was this, the microphone was just sitting there. It just sounded like, Something is supposed to be here, you know? Mm -hmm. I said, well, you know, just, just because, just because it's here, it needs something, I'll just, you know, I'll just do something. So I started mumbling these, you know. <laughs> sort of turned into words a little bit. And then Black Thought, the, the leader of the Roots, came in and he was standing across from me and he got a mic too and he was like, and then he started saying my words back to me. Then he started coming up with much better words than mine that <laughs> rhymed with mine like about in like half a second. And I was still just like it sounds like words a little bit, but it wasn't words. And then so I'm just thinking, no, but I didn't think anything of it. You know, it was, it was a fun night. I had a good time. Yeah. I went home, I went back to my job. I won't get into that either. That was a terrible job. <laughs> so bad. But anyway, I went back to my job, and I'm driving to work one day a few weeks later, and Rich calls me, and he says, hey, man, what's going on? And I'm like, nothing, you know, just going to work. It's 8.15 in the morning, you know, what's happening? He's like, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I think we're going to use that thing you did. I said, what do you mean? Like, you know, what? Which thing? What thing? So yeah, the thing you did at the jam session, remember? Like, we, I think we're gonna, no, we're definitely gonna use it. I, I was like, well, what do you use it for? What? You know, like, it's good for the record. You know, like, okay. So I'm thinking, oh, so I should come back to the studio. You know, I'll, right. I'll write the lyrics down yeah, and clean you know, it up, tighten that up, and I come and get in the booth and I have the headphones and all that stuff. <laughs> nah, I went to the studio one day. <laughs> so you should come down and check it out. I said, all right, went in there thinking I was about to record properly this thing that I, I walked in there and they played it and they're like, he was like, yeah, it's pretty cool, man. You know, we think it's pretty cool. It's like, 
they, you got anything else? Well, I got this, I got this. He's like, nah, I think it's pretty cool. And then about a month later, they had a listening party for the record, and I, I went to that. Obviously. I walk in, and all these guys are coming out down the hall, and they were like humming my, mel my melody from the song. They're like, hey, hey, man, that was, that was cool, man, what you did, man. They were singing the lyrics that didn't... I, they, I'll say they exist. I mean, I, I did create them. But <laughs> I mean, technically, technically, I, I did say those words more or less. So, <laughs> but they, everyone in there knew the song already, and I, I was like, oh yeah, what is this? 